name is Cal, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Screwdriver by the White Stripes. This is off one of their early albums. Great song, uh, I really like it, even though it's kind of his earlier stuff, so it sounds a lot different than what he's playing now. Uh, I think it sounds really good, and it's a fun riff to play. And it's not too difficult. Uh, I wouldn't say the beginner would necessarily have an easy time with this, but uh, it's nice to challenge yourself every now and then. So without further ado, let's get into the song. Okay, so the song starts off, uh, it's pretty simple, it's just a uh, A power chord, which is a power chord with your first finger on the 5th fret uh, low E string, and then power chord, which is 3rd finger on the 7th fret A string, and your pinky underneath that on the 7th fret D string. And it sort of builds into that, so it goes... Uh, with a little bit of palm mute, which is where you lay your palm flat across the strings. And it builds up, and then it goes into the main riff. So that's one, two, four strums on that A power chord, two slow, and then two fast. And then move that same power chord formation down to the uh, the third fret low E string, which is a G. Hit that hit that twice and then move it back up to the uh, the A power chord and hit that twice again. So it's all together. Uh, you're going to want to only hit it once on coming back to the A, but it is twice if you listen to it in the song. So once again. And then it goes into this. And that starts off on the 5th fret G string. And you sort of hit that quick, uh, don't hang on the note too much. And then go to the 7th fret on the D string. And then back to the 5th fret on the A, uh, sorry, the 5th fret on the G string. So it's... And all of those notes are hit uh, pretty quick, so there's no, there's no, uh, there's, you're not hanging on the notes, so it doesn't ring out. It's basically just one hit. And then you actually you do hang out on the uh, the fifth fret G string on that last one. So, and then you hit that note again, and then hammer on with your third finger onto the seventh fret G string. Basically, I use three fingers here, uh, so keep that there, and then bend this up to the ninth fret, full step bend, so, hit it again and let it come down, and then pull off, back to the fifth fret on the G string, so, and then do that pull off twice, so it's... Uh, so you are going to have to be able to pull off and uh, hammer on uh, pretty well, so I'd practice that a couple times if you're not too comfortable with it, because it really makes the sound song a lot better when you have that really down. So, once again, whole thing together. Um, now, after you land back here, you hit it once more on the seventh fret A, uh, seventh fret D string, and then back to this to the uh, the fifth fret A. So. And then end on the uh, the seventh fret on the D string. <laughs> it's kind of a confusing riff, to be honest. It's a little bit tricky to explain, but I'll go through it real slow one last time. Uh, and that's pretty much played throughout the song. Now, the only other part is really simple. It's that same A to G, 
uh, but this time you just use one finger, it's not a power chord at all. So first finger on the fifth fret, low E string. And then you don't even have to pick it if you don't want to because he plays it really soft. Basically, basically just pull off and then land on the third fret, uh, low E string, which is the G, so. You're kind of doing a little bit of a pull off too uh, when you're moving between those notes. You can also pick it as well. Um, and then eventually he just starts to build back up. Um, throughout the verse he goes, he goes through and sings, and then the last time when he stops singing, he goes once more time, uh, one more time on these two chords, except for this time he puts it into a chord instead of just your first finger. So it's... And then the verse ends, and then you go... And then right back into the opening riff. Um, now the only other trick, not tricky part, but the only other change, I guess I'd say, is where he plays uh, the opening riff, but he kind of does it, mixes it up, and plays it at different times. So it's more like, and then back into the riff. Uh, you can kind of get it. Those are all the parts to the song. You just listen and you can kind of hear what he's doing and where he's placing those notes. Because the only difference, uh, there's no different notes. It's just uh, timing-wise. He changes it up slightly throughout the song. Um, but that's it, guys. That is how to play Screwdriver by the White Stripes. Great song. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you learned something, feel free to leave a like and a share. It means a lot. Uh, and other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. And see you guys later.